The HTTP error 500.30 typically indicates that there is an issue with the .NET Core application, and it failed to start correctly. This error can occur due to various reasons such as configuration issues, missing dependencies, or runtime errors. To solve this first of all open event viewer. Then navigate to Windows Logs folder. Then click on application as shown here. It may take some time to load the information. Then look at the error level. This is my error which is just generate by ASP.NET Core project. Click on it to view the details of error. In my case this problem is solved by restarting IIS as shown here. You can exit the IIS service or stop for each process running. Now try to clean the solution and rebuild the project and this problem might solve. You can try following solutions if previous does not work for you. 1. Ensure that the correct version of the .NET Core runtime is installed on the server or hosting environment where the application is deployed. 2. Review configuration files like appsettings.json, web.config for any errors or misconfigurations. Restart application pool. If your .NET project required VPN then enable it by consulting with your team lead. This might solve your problem. If you like this video please like share and subscribe to the channel. Also click on bell icon to never miss any update. Thank you.